Hello and welcome back to another episode of Handloader TV. I'm your host, Jeremiah. And in this episode, we have one question for you. How good is good enough? And that's exactly what we hope to answer with this episode in regards to Nosler factory second components. Nosler sells factory second components through their outlet website, Shooters Pro Shop. And basically what it is is blemished factory ammunition, blemished cases, blemished bullets, and things of that nature. And recently I had the opportunity to put some of these components to the test. We've got some 69 grain Nosler Custom Competition 22 caliber bullets, some 5.56 or 223 cases that are blemished, some factory ammunition and 308 Winchester that's blemished, and some 7 millimeter bullets as well. So I'm very excited to put these guys to the test and see just how well factory seconds perform. Now in this video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be testing uh, just the factory second components, whether that be the brass or the projectiles. In most cases for this video it will be the projectiles themselves, the bullets, and the factory loaded ammunition. But this video is also produced in collaboration with Handloader Magazine. Issue number 349 in the Reloader's Press column of that issue, there will be a full article detailing comparisons between factory firsts and factory seconds in these three nozzle rifles we have before us, as well as an AR-15 and in .223 Wild. So it's going to be a really comprehensive test. We're going to get just a glimpse in this video and see how well just the factory seconds perform. But I would highly encourage you guys to check out that issue of the magazine, number 349. If you haven't subscribed to Handloader Magazine yet, I would encourage you guys to at least consider it. It's a great way to support what we're doing here on Handloader TV, and it provides a great support base and knowledge base for what we do in the magazine and on these videos. It makes all of these things possible, and we greatly appreciate all those who do subscribe to our publications. So on that note, let's go ahead and take a closer look at some of our test rifles that we have here before us to test these factory second components. Since we're specifically testing Nosler factory seconds in this video, and there are a lot of other companies out there that sell factory seconds, we're just specifically talking about Nosler factory seconds and not any other seconds from any other manufacturer. And because of that, I thought it would be fun to reach back into the gun safe and pull out a couple of my personal favorite Nosler rifles that I've had the opportunity to play with and shoot over the years. The first one up front here is a Nosler M48 Heritage model. It is a wonderful rifle chambered in 22 Nosler. And I've actually taken this rifle up to Wyoming for prairie dog and ground squirrel hunting up there. Had a lot of great success with it. And some of the factory second bullets were actually shot on game on varmints up there in Wyoming. And their terminal performance was exceptional, indistinguishable between the firsts and the seconds. So very good there, but more details on that will be in the article in Handloader Magazine. This rifle has a 24 inch barrel and to top it off there's a Leupold VX5 HD 3 to 15 by 44 millimeter optic on there and it has a really nice Christmas tree reticle in there as well. A great bench gun, personal favorite of mine. Then jumping over to the next rifle in our lineup here, this is a Nosler M21, a new offering from Nosler, relatively new, chambered in 308 Winchester. It has a 22 inch barrel. And if you want more details on this particular rifle, we did a full load development featuring this rifle, 308 Winchester. It's a good video. I highly encourage you guys to check it out. And all the details from the weight, the stock, the optic, they're all available in that video, so be sure to check that out if you want further details on this guy. Last but not least, we have this Nosler Custom Rifle here. This was a limited edition run that they did, and this rifle is chambered in 280 Ackley Improved using their M48 Action. However, they have integrated scope bases in this particular action, which is pretty neat. They work with the loophole dovetail mounts, and in that loophole dovetail mounting system is a loophole VX3 3.5 to 10 by 40 optic with a standard uh, duplex reticle in there. Very nice optic, very nice rifle, beautiful piece of wood, Packmeyer decelerator recoil pad that is just fit flawlessly and it's very beautiful and chambered in one of my personal favorite cartridges, the 280 Ackley Improved. So these are the three rifles that we're going to use for testing these factory second components to see what kind of performance we get out of them. 
What do you say we go ahead and take these rifles? My ammunition is already preloaded. Details on the loading procedures will be in the article in Handloader Magazine. Encourage you guys to check that out. We'll go ahead and take these and hit the range. So we're out on the range now. It's a beautiful day. According to the Kestrel 5700 here, the temperature is 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity is 35%. Pressure when adjusted for elevation is 30.13 in HG, and the altitude is 5,000 feet. And we have no wind currently at our shooting position, so that's very, very nice. And as usual, there's a target downrange at 100 yards and an Ailer Model 35P chronograph set up 10 feet from the muzzle. So now we've gone ahead and jumped over to the 308 Winchester. We're using Shooter's World Rifle Powder, a 40 precision rifle powder, a 43.5 grain charge, and a 168 grain Nosler Acubond long range factory second bullet. Winchester large rifle primers, Nosler cases, and our overall loaded length is 2.800 inches. Let's see how this load performs on the paper. So we've gone down from the uh, 308 to the 22 Nosler here using H4895 powder, a 26.5 grain charge, as in a 69 grain Nosler Custom Competition, which is a factory second bullet, Nosler cases, which are first, Federal 205 M primers, and our overall loaded length is 2.260 inches. So what do you say? We shoot a nice little group on the paper now. Yeah, that's not too shabby for just picking a random load and a 22 nozzler. Thing feeds really nice, man. Really nice. So now we have some uh, nozzler factory second or blemished ammunition here. And this is 308 Winchester nozzler ballistic tip ammo using a 150 grain nozzler ballistic tip bullet and of course nozzler cases. So pretty excited to try this stuff out and see how it performs through the M21 here. Benched in, ready to go.
Well, I'd say that stuff shoots just fine, blemished and all. So we have the 280 Ackley Improved benched in here, a beautiful Nosler custom rifle. And for this load, we're going to be using Reloader 22 powder, a 52.5 grain charge, which is a supposedly a max charge with this cartridge, with a 175 grain Nosler Acubon long range factory second bullet. Federal 210M primer and Nosler first cases, and our overall loaded length is 3.340 inches. Let's see what this rifle can do. Five shots just like that. So we're back at the bench now after a short range session with these three rifles here and we got some targets to go over. We're going to start out with a 308 Winchester here, the order we shot them in. This is using a 43.5 grain charge of Shooter's World Precision Rifle Powder with a 168 grain Nosler Acubon Long Range Factory Second Projectile and Nosler Cases. And our overall load length 2.800 inches. It assembled a 0.82 inch group with our Nosler SR30 ALTI suppressor threaded on there, an SD of 8 and an extreme spread of 21. Now this is a load that I've previously worked up not using factory second components and it performed very very well. And while I was working up this load using precision rifle powder from Shooter's World, Across the board, I got very low extreme spreads and very low standard deviation. So it seems to be a great powder in the 308 Winchester with this particular bullet combination. Then the next load that we went ahead and tested was in the 22 Nosler using H4895 powder, a 26.5 grain charge with a 69 grain Nosler custom competition, factory second bullet there nozzler cases. We got an outstanding extreme spread of 22, standard deviation of 9, and that particular group grouped into 0.62 inches. So just over half an inch there, half MOA, very good results from the 22 nozzler. And this particular rifle has performed really well for me in, with hand loads and stuff. I consistently get half to three quarters of a minute groups with this rifle. Then we went ahead and jumped back over to the 308 Winchester here and we shot some blemished factory ammunition through it. The Nosler uh, 150 grain ballistic tip ammunition and we got an extreme spread of 54 and a standard deviation of 20. Not too bad for a five shot group with factory ammunition there and it assembled a 0.64 inch group. So nothing wrong with that for blemished ammunition, it performed very, very well. And last but not least, we jumped over to the 280 Ackley Improved. Now for this, we used a Reloader 22 powder, a 52.5 grain charge, which according to Nosler's load data is a maximum charge. However, the velocities were very low in this rifle for whatever reason, and I'm not sure if I got a bad lot of Reloader 22 or it became contaminated with humidity or what exactly was going on with the powder at the time, but the velocities are very low, averaging out to 2,482 feet per second out of this 24-inch barreled 280 AI. That charge weight, the velocity should be higher, and I'm not sure why that is. It also could be the reason why the group was a little bit larger than what I was expecting at 1.12 inches. Uh, extreme spread of 35 and a standard deviation of 13. Not bad numbers there, but... Um, Definitely an interesting load. However, the main reason why this is in this video is because there's going to be that comparison in Handloader Magazine where we compare 
factory firsts to factory seconds. And the 280 Ackley improved, and this load is one of those that we'll be using for comparison. And in the article, there'll be 10 shot groups, two five shot groups averaged out for the accuracy. So it'll be a pretty good test there in Handloader Magazine. Encourage you guys to check that out. So there you have it. There's the results we got with our factory second ammunition. And as always, you be the judge on whether you think it's good enough. In closing out this video, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. I had a lot of fun shooting these rifles, just a couple of my favorite nozzle rifles, something that I actually don't get to do a whole lot because I'm usually testing some new rifle or some cartridge we haven't previously worked with or, or something along those lines. So this was a lot of fun to put together and I found the results to be very, very good. And if you do subscribe to the magazine or pick up issue number 349, then it would be a really great way to compare and contrast the results we got in this video to the article as well. And you can see just how well these factory seconds performed and how good is good enough. So thank you so much for watching. We hope that if you like this video, you'll give us a thumbs up and let us know. And if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those in the comments section below. I do my best to read and respond to every one of those as we grow with over 20,000 subscribers now and over 50,000 people watching videos fairly regularly. It's getting really difficult to respond to those, but I do my best, especially if it's an important question or something along those lines. So thank you for that, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified when we post our next video. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. <music>